Oh, what a nice day. It got up to about ah, plus, plus eight, plus nine degrees here today. Beautiful day. I was looking at my welder and I realized I didn't cover it up very well. My uh, fuel cap came off of it this year, so I have to do some work on the uh, fuel tank, that's for sure. <clears throat> That's the only that's the only problem I've seen this year that I didn't do well enough. I should have covered it up better. I did cover the exhaust. I was thinking there, but uh, the fuel cap, the the vent is uh, leaking on it. So I'll just drain the water out of it. Uh, I think there was only about a gallon of gas left in it anyway, so that's no big deal. All in all, everything fared pretty good this winter. Our snow is starting to disappear here again. It was a nice day today. It's supposed to cool off tomorrow. A little bit, not too much. In the next few days, it's supposed to be below zero. But uh, that's good, it'll let the water get away. I like to come out every once in a while and survey my sawmill. I just like to walk around and take a look, make sure it's okay. Not that it's gonna go anywhere, but I like to look anyway. Mostly I like to look to see if I set tools down and forgot to pick them up and then they're laying somewhere on a board or something, but I was a good boy this year. I didn't lose any. I don't see anything popping up. Everything was all, everything is looking quite fine out here. Including me. <laughs> oh boy. It's a good thing I got a sense of humor, right? Everything looks fine out here. We have about a foot of snow left, I guess. Maybe maybe a little less, I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's looking good. I'm tempted to try to start this old tractor today, but oh, I gotta crank start that baby and I don't feel like doing it. It's getting on in the evening here. I like to come out and take a walk around and look. Make sure everything's doing okay. Supposed to cool off uh, here in the evenings. It's supposed to be below zero in the evenings for the rest of uh, the week. Almost two weeks, I think, is what they're calling for below zero here. You know, that's okay though. Like I say, it lets the water get away. Um, I was coming over to survey some of my my snowmills that I have for parts here. Actually, this one here, this Articat Jag. I have a brand new windshield for that. That is the long model. It's got high, low, and reverse in it. I don't know what it's going to be like in the snow. It's a big girl. I don't have the engine with it. It's supposed to take a 440. But do you see that? That uh, 500 Future over there. It's got a really good 503 Rotax engine in it. And I think I'm just, just going to build a base plate. And I'm going to mount that. 503 in that 440 Articat and we'll watch your burn. Let's hope it don't burn. It may very well. One never knows. Either way, I won't lose much. <clears throat> Everything looks like it did okay this winter. I guess you can see behind me there the snow is starting to melt. But as you can see, it's a bit wet over there. In my driveway. Oh, oh. Man, I could have a mud bog in here if I wanted to. That's pretty brutal, isn't it? My little woodshed, it heaved a little bit too. Not too bad. One post went up probably about three inches. So I'll try to solve that next year. See what I can do. It's got to be a way. What I should have done, I think, is smeared grease all around those posts and then wrapped them lots with that, uh, it's like a saran wrap. So I was told anyway, if you wrap the bottom of the post really good like that, then the frost can't grab onto the post. It'll just slide that that saran wrap there that, that you get for wrapping, uh, uh, like if you're gonna ship something and you put it on a pallet, you can wrap that big, looks like saran wrap around it all to hold it. They say you wrap that around the bottom of your post with grease in between the saran wrap and the post. Then when the frost freezes, 
tries to heave, it can't pull up the post because it just slides the plastic up and down on the grease. I should have tried that. For here though, I think a lot of it is the, the water getting underneath the post and forcing it up that way. But I should have tried it anyway. Anyway, no biggie. It's not hurting me at all. It'll go back down. And if it don't, well, I'll just, uh, you know, uh, dig out around it and see what I can do. Either or, no worries. Anyway, just wanted to check in there. Uh, Heather's in the house. She's getting supper ready, so I should go in now. Just want to say hey to y'all this evening. Hope you're doing okay. Oh yeah, I'm also going to add a little clip of this uh, crazy little squirrel we have around here. I've been feeding him. I was trying to get a good photo or a video of him sitting on my little tin tin toy tractor. But uh, the darn camera I set for motion sensor didn't turn on right away. So he managed to steal the, uh, sorry, he managed to steal the muffin. I don't know if I said donut or not. I'm not sure. Anyway, he tried to, he, he ended up getting the muffin off the tractor before the camera turned on. But would have been cute to see him sitting on there chewing on that muffin on that little tractor. But anyway, I'll add that clip here. So.